So when you're interviewing hard money lenders, and yes, I said when you are interviewing hard money lenders, that means you're seeing if they qualify to do business with you, not the other way around, all right? Little mindset shift for you. When you're interviewing hard money lenders, you wanna ask them two important numbers. These ratios are critically important when it comes to borrowing money. One is LTV, loan to value. Let me explain what LTV is. So if I'm buying a house for $200,000, gonna put $100,000 into it, and the after repaired value is $400,000, that LTV is 75%. I'm into it for 75 cents on the dollar. I'm into it for 75% of what it's gonna be worth fixed up. So you wanna ask your lender, what LTV do you lend to? Some hard money lenders are at 65%. I like to work with ones who go to 75%, which makes life easier, right? The next thing you wanna know is what's your loan to cost? That's LTC. If you start using this terminology and you understand it, when you're talking to hard money lenders, they're immediately gonna think of you as somebody who knows what they're talking about. So now you do, you're welcome. So loan to cost, all right, so my cost is $300,000. They'll say a hard money lender says, great, I loan up to a 75% loan to value, does that mean they're gonna give you $300,000 on this deal? No, it doesn't. In almost all instances, especially as the world changes, it does not mean that. LTC requirements are anywhere from 70, again, it used to be, but it's generally not anymore, 100% loan to cost. So 85% is uh, with most of the lenders that I work with, loan to cost. So in this deal right here, yes, 75%, they're gonna be less than the lesser of 75% LTV or 85% loan to cost. So my cost is $300,000. What's 85% of $300,000? If my math is right off the top of my head, it's $255,000 because they're lending it 85% of my cost. Forget fees, forget closing fees, forget points. I'm just talking about these two numbers right here. So yes, they lend 75% LTV, but it's the lesser of 75% LTV or 85% loan to cost. So know those two figures, know how to calculate those two numbers when you're talking with your hard money lenders because it's very important. Because that means, what's this mean on this deal? I've got to have $45,000 plus closing costs, plus holding costs to be able to put into this deal. Know these numbers before you go borrowing hard money.